Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. SeaWorld is trying to save the Southern California halibut. This video from the Hubs Research Institute is from a release of halibut into Mission Bay last month. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens joins us from the Live Center. And Jared, they have a lot of experience in helping to bring back fish from the brink. Yeah, they've been doing this for the white sea bass for about 35 years, and they've put 2.5 million sea bass back into the ocean. So I got a little bit of a nursery for the halibut program, and they hope they can have the same level of success. These are juvenile California halibut that we've raised here from an egg. Mark Drawbridge is like a proud dad looking over the latest school of halibut born and raised at the Hub SeaWorld Research Institute. Our survival rates from egg to juvenile stage are typically 20% or higher, which compared to what would happen in the wild is, would be a fraction of a percent. Um, it's more than adequate to produce tens of thousands of fish. That would be enough to start rehabilitating the Southern California halibut population. Recent surveys show the species is down to about 14% of what it should be. Drawbridge supervises every aspect of the Dick Laub Fisheries Replenishment Program, from breeding and harvesting eggs in these big tanks. I'll show you some of the fish that are in here. To infant stage, those white dots are just a few weeks old to raising the halibut until they're big enough to release. He says success is measured at every stage. Getting our breeding population up and spawning routinely, uh, we consider a success. Um, and then getting the fish up to a large enough size to release uh, was also a success. So far, they've put 2,300 halibut into Mission Bay. It's a literal drop in the ocean, but Drawbridge says bringing the species back to a healthy level would be good for the fishing industry and the environment. Obviously, to make an impact, we know from white sea bass, numbers are going to have to be higher than that, and, uh, and we're going to have to work on and continue to try and improve the survival of the animals once we release them. Now the Institute implants a tracker on each fish to help them figure out how well they're surviving and how old they get. The program is funded by private donations. They hope to release another group of halibut this spring. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Interesting story, yeah, Jared. Thank really you. Really interesting. Yeah. All right.